Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. But we're back in my office at Lipscomb again today. I guess I'm going to need to get a prettier backdrop because this is happening more often than not. <laughs> it is Tuesday, October 14th, 2014. I told you yesterday was October 14th. It wasn't. It's today. What do you know? So, you know what I'm realizing too? This is just not the best video. Like, apples are supposed to have great cameras. And I have not been able to find an exterior camera for my Mac that's Mac compatible. So if any of you know of an external, external, exterior, something that's not part of the Mac that's a webcam, let me know. Anyhow, so news today. Uh, the nurse that contracted Ebola has been revealed, 26-year-old from Dallas, and she is now uh, actually receiving a blood transfusion transfusion from Dr. Kent Brantley and is said to be in stable condition. So that's good. Uh, storms ripped through the South and the Midwest last night. Of course, after I sent my daughter, if you follow me on Instagram at the Sammy Cone, I gave my kids the uh, task since they were off for fall break yesterday to put together an emergency preparedness kit because Friday night, it just hit us out of the blue all of a sudden. I put them to bed and they were turned on the TV and it was like, if you're in Fairview, take cover now. And so we had nothing. So we got all the stuff together, packed bags, and didn't even have to go in the closet. So at least we're ready for next time. Uh, but two people ended up uh, dying because of tornadoes last night, and now the storms are moving through the south and the east. So be careful if you are in that side of the country. Uh, scary turn of events on an American Airlines flight out of San Francisco yesterday. Part of the interior of the plane panel ripped off. They had to turn around, make an emergency landing. Luckily, no one was hurt. They blame air tubes. I mean, there's so much going on with planes these days. I just, you never used to hear about anything. I mean, rarely you'd hear about a plane crash. And now I feel like literally every other day there's some something going on on a plane. So, whew, not excited to get on one this weekend, but we will pray through it. And uh, North Korean leader, dictator, I don't know, whoever, whatever side you're on, Kim Jong-un, was spotted for the first time in 40 days, albeit using a cane, and with no explanation for why he hasn't been seen in over a month. So, continues to be a mystery. That's what's going on around the world. Uh, I'm back at Lipscomb teaching today, obviously. My husband came home last night, so after three weeks of being away, he's back for about two days. <laughs> Not for a long time, but we'll take whatever time together we can get as a family of four. So that's been fun to just be back together again. And my daughter may be trying basketball. Uh, I don't want to say against her will, but she really likes the components of basketball. She's just not a real, like, team sport, competitive kind of soul. So uh, we're going to try through the rec center because she's got the height and she's got the ability. We just need the drive. So i got to love community athletics. We're going to try that, see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you make it great. Bye.